episode of Take the Wheel Tuesday, where today, chickadee, we will be talking about don't pray and worry. And also how the scripture prayer without works is dead can be flipped and turned so many different ways where it's not supposed to be. So let's get into today's greatness. So this week's motivation was inspired by myself. Um, the song Don't Pray and Worry kept popping up on my Pandora. And I am one of those people who believe if something keeps popping up, then it's something I'm supposed to be realizing. And it was something that I was actually doing. Um, I am a spiritual person, and with everything, there is always ways to see something outside of the spiritual world. So, don't click away from this video just because you feel like, oh, she's about to talk about God and the Bible, da 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 No, I always relate it to reality. But, I was actually doing that. I was praying about some things that was going on in my life. I was asking for clarity. Um, I was trying to get through some things. Um, but while I was praying, I was worrying. And while I was worrying, I was questioning. And that's something you are not supposed to do. So I had to tell myself, why are you doing these things? And I thought about it is because as humans, we lack patience, serious patience. And we don't like the idea of delayed gratification. Instant gratification is pretty much everywhere, especially with technology. But when it comes down to delay gratification, we have a problem with it because we are forced to have patience. Um, and so for me, I was praying and then I was questioning, maybe that's not what God is putting in my life. Or maybe that's not the vision that I'm supposed to be having. Maybe that's not my reality. Maybe this is not the thing that I'm supposed to be doing or supposed to have. When really, I'm just making extra fuss for myself for no reason. And so with that, I thought about the phrase, prayer without works is dead. Okay, maybe I'm worrying because I'm not doing the work. Maybe I'm worrying or questioning because I'm not putting in the amount of time or the amount of research or amount of work required for that thing to happen. No, I had to look at it like this. The work isn't always me doing something major. Because if you pray and you're specific with your prayer, the Lord is gonna come through. But he don't need you sticking your pinky toe, your index finger, your elbow in areas because it's not happening in the time frame that you want it to happen. So when the phrase or the scripture prayer without works is dead come about, the work isn't always something that we're thinking. The work may be something as simple as continuing to have faith, continuing to pray every day, whether it's five minutes while you on the toilet because that's all the time that you have, or that's the time that it popped up in your head, oh, I didn't give God any time today. The work may be doing a little reading on the goal that I'm trying to reach, doing a little bit more research on the goal that I'm trying to reach, preparing myself accordingly. The work is the preparation. The preparation is always something on our part that we are supposed to do so we can get there, so that we can have the full understanding. The work isn't helping God. And to put it in reality terms, the work is still the preparation, even if you don't pray or you don't do any of those things. If you have a vision, if you have a goal, if you're manifesting something in your life, don't go ahead and try to seek help or advice or guidance from so many different places because you might be steered wrong. Or because you were so impatient, you're getting the wrong information. You're sticking your toe in areas where you're not supposed to be sticking it. So here's an example that I thought of. Okay, say you prayed or say you wrote down your list of goals and two of those things are losing weight. You wanna lose 30 pounds or you want to, in addition to losing 30 pounds, you would like financial increase. You would like to save more. So either you pray for those things or you wrote these goals down that you feel like you can do. Okay, while you're trying to lose 30 pounds, it's not going 
happen just like that. You can't say, Lord, um, please let me lose 30 pounds. You can say, Lord, please give me the strength, the motivation, the determination, and the consistency of working out and eating well to lose those 30 pounds. Um, in addition to allowing me to save money, get a better job so that I can have financial increase. And again, the reality side is those are things that you wrote down for yourself. You might not have lost 30 pounds in a month or two months or the three months that you expected for you to lose those 30 pounds. So because you're impatient, you go and find somebody cheap or reasonably priced that does cosmetic surgery or laser surgery or these whatever new stuff is going on. So because you're impatient and you're trying to help God out or help your body out by going to cheat, you affecting your financial increase as well because you're about to go spend some money somewhere that you don't need to be spending it because you're impatient with the process that is required to lose those 30 pounds. So not only are you not gonna lose the 30 pounds that you want in the time frame that you were supposed to to work and stay off, you will get these technology thingies or whatever like that to help you and it don't maintain or something goes wrong. So now you don't waste it your money and you're gonna have to spend more money to get it fixed or now you're gonna spend more money towards some new trainer or no new program because the thing that you thought was gonna work didn't work. So that's the work that we're not supposed to do. The work is the preparation, the process, and trusting the process. That's it, that's all. So at the end of the day, the message is don't go sticking your toes where it don't belong. Don't go sticking your nose in areas where it does not belong. Because the one blessing that you feel like you're supposed to help God in, you're affecting the other blessing or all the blessings that he had prepared for you that he's not going to give to you because you were impatient. Or that's going to take longer and it's not going to be as big as he had planned because you were impatient. You didn't trust the process. You weren't preparing yourself accordingly. At the end of the day, everything in life is preparation and trusting the process. If you were given a vision and that vision pops up in your head weekly, monthly, or daily, that is supposed to happen. That dream, that vision, that aspiration is yours. You just have to prepare yourself accordingly and be patient. Because instant gratification is not always the best gratification. Losing 30 pounds in one in one month ain't always the best because you're going to gain them 30 pounds <laughs> next month. You stop working now. <laughs> but yes, that's all I had to say. Take the Little Tuesdays, our quick motivating and inspirational um, videos. If you like this video, go ahead and like, hit the like button, comment below your ideology of the scripture, pray without works is dead, or praying and not worrying, or how you just go about your daily um, affirmation and preparing yourself accordingly for whatever goals or dreams or visions that you have. Um, gaining that clarity, gaining that patience, um, gaining that confidence, continuing that motivation. Um, I'm doing this new workout program where the trainer says, you're not going to always be motivated, but do it anyway. That is real. And that is something I want everybody to apply to their life. You're not going to always want to do it, but do it anyway. The motivation might be here for a week, but it might be gone the next day. Find a way to keep going because when you finally do it, you'll get your motivation back. So that is all I have for today. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are on YouTube. Leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. Um, and I will see you guys on Thursday. But as always, be great with greatness. And I'll see you later.